Yeah. Right there. Yeah. That's a secret. Good morning, Karen. It's so good to be here. I hope you're finding your way around this place, this Southern Regional Technical College Conference Center. We are we're very happy to be here today and so happy that you chose to join us. Um, I'm going to let, I see people still trying to work their way in. And we're already not on time. And I thought I was going to do so well with that this year. People have been training me and training me. And so I thought I was going to do well with it. But we will try to stay on task and on time because that's important. We have so much to learn here today. I'm so glad that you're here, that you took the time out of your busy schedules to come. You see these um, tables with the flags on them here. We, if you looked at the website, you may have seen that we were running special. Running special, that if you got eight of your friends together, you would get a reduced rate. So these folks took advantage of that, and we're so glad that they did. Welcome to the 17th annual South Georgia Native Plant and Wildflower Symposium. We are so glad that you're here. This event is co-sponsored by the Garden Club of Georgia and the University of Georgia Coastal Plant Co College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. That's what co-sponsors this event. So we are glad that you're here. My name is Amy Carter, and I hope I get to talk to each one of you before you leave. I, I should, I'm going to keep talking and let some more of these people come in because I have a very important announcement to make in just a minute. Um, I would ask, oh, what a good, that perfect timing there. I would ask that you would turn your phones off or turn them on vibrate. The speakers here have, uh, well, gosh, they're sharing their knowledge with us, aren't they? They're sharing their time and their knowledge with us, and um, it would just be best if we didn't have any interruptions like that. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you one time, because I'm going to make this important announcement two times. Are y'all listening? Yes. At 11.30, at 11.30, we've been told that there's going to be a test of the fire alarms. <laughs> told that yesterday afternoon and I told them we would not leave this room so if there really was a fire they better come get us. So um, just prepare yourselves at 11.30 and they said it is especially loud in this room. So, um, I'll tell you that again in a minute. Um, yeah, yes, yes. Gary will be up here talking. We'll try to remind Gary at 11.25. Very good. <coughs> While the other folks are still coming in, let's just go through a few things. The plant sale is right outside here. I know you've already, many of you have already shopped for the day. You'll see in the lobby area out there several exhibitors. Please stop by and visit with them. Um, we have Annette Wise. Annette, Annette Wise is here today. She's with the Rosalind Carter Butterfly Trail. And other and other assorted duties over there with the Jimmy Carter Museum. I'm thinking, is that right, Annette? And now, just the Rosenberg Hotel and Plains of Well, how exciting! We're very happy for you. exhibit out there and several of y'all have already spoken to me today saying that you're planting butterfly gardens in your communities and so she has a lot of good information right there and I'm sure she'd like to talk with you too so that you can get your garden on the trail. We also have out there Jan TC. I just saw your face Jan. There you are. Jan TC is with the Garden Club of Georgia and she is in charge of Blue Star Markers and gold star markers. If you don't know what that is, please visit with her out there. I had the privilege of attending a gold star marker dedication this past Saturday that the Comedia District provided the funds for that marker to go into place in Turner County. There were 25 people there 
As I stood there, I thought, there should be 250 people here to hear that we, this group, this group of Garden Club members is honoring those who gave their lives for our country. That's what that Gold Star Market is about. <coughs> we have so many precious freedoms because of people who went before us. And I appreciate what Jan does and what the Garden Club of Georgia is doing to honor those people. Who else is out there? Donna Vincent is out there. I think she may have a table out there. Um, some of my Garden Club friends were saying they had a, wanted a table out there and will have information about joining the Garden Club. <coughs> Echo Skate. Echo Skate. Where are we? Donna. Oh, excuse me. Not Donna. Karen. The other, the other Karen. Um, thank you. Karen Giambingo is here. She's with the University of Georgia and does amazing work down on the coast and has an Echo Skates display. You can learn a lot from her programs and her websites. So please visit with Karen out there. What's another one? Y'all know. So I can't remember right now. Another display out there? Coast of Plains chapter of the Georgia Native Plant Society. Absolutely. That would be a good group to talk with out there. And we are so proud to have our state president of the Garden Club of Georgia Martha Price. We are indeed. Yes. Martha Price. And and we are so delighted that Martha is here and and it's been a wonderful two years, Martha. It has been. Um, the president served for two year terms and Martha has a special place in her heart for native plants, so we had a special bond here, so thank you. Thank you for your service. We have some past presidents of Garden Club of Georgia here also. I see Sarah Lanier over there. Sarah also, thank you Sarah. Sarah is one of those that has been attending this symposium for over 10 years. Sarah too had a special um, place for natives during her presidency and we appreciate that so much. Are there any other past presidents here? There are a lot of district directors here. Um, I see, I can't see y'all right here. Magnolia District Director, Willie Maxwell, there she is. Hello, Willie, is right here. And Hills up from Oleander, so glad that you're here. And Avernell is a past president, or past district director from Camellia. Millie is a past district director. More of y'all, past district directors. I'm just going to um, say, if you have a chance to visit with these garden club members, please do that. I've learned so much from my association with these amazing women and men. I'm sure there's some men members too. I just don't know them right now. But um, but please visit with them. Are we ready to get started? I see some more people have come into the room since I made that very important announcement. Are y'all listening? Y'all listening? At 11.30, there is supposed to be a test of the alarm system. Okay? We'll try to um, all be watching our watches and tap each other on the shoulder and say it's coming or something at about 11.25. Um, so we'll all be prepared. All right. Our first speaker today is Beth Wiggins Grant. Beth is from Thomasville. She has been diligent, untiring, non-stopping non in her passion for natives and her commitment to the community where she lives. That's what I see in Beth, that she has worked in her community to to help to educate others. You've read her bio, I hope, in our sheets. Um, we've known each other a little while, and Beth is one of those quiet, strong types, is what I'm going to define you as. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. But we are so glad that Beth is here, and I can't wait to hear this presentation. 
She is, um, the title of it is Bringing Nature Home. The books are for sale right out there on the book table. And it's one of those books that I bought several years ago and it just sort of sat on the shelf. And I, but then when I started reading it, oh my goodness. So I hope you enjoy this presentation and we just thank you for coming back.